So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Blippi! And today we're at Odyssey in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is gonna be awesome. I think today you and I should learn about some animals. Whoa, look at this place. Oh, those are kind of like raindrops. Hello. Okay, let's go over here. Whoa, we're almost to the top! Whoa! Yeah, let's go! This is gonna be so much fun! Oh, did you see that? I just used two fingers on the back of the head in the back of this Russian sturgeon. Oh, it looks like he liked it. Whoa, it feels so cool. It's hard, but it also has kind of a layer of a slippery sludge on it. <laughs> it helps keep all the parasites away. Oh, here's another one. That is awesome! <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? I just touched the stingray nice and gently with my two fingers on its back. Whoa, okay, let's, uh, let's touch another one. Oh, here's one right over here. Oh, oh hey! Whoa, <laughs> that's silly. Ooh, come over here. Whoa. There's so many of them. Whoa. Look at that one. It's just resting on the ground. That's a different kind. Huh. Oh, here comes one. Whoa. Hey, I'll describe what it feels like. It kind of feels... Oh, here's one more. Whoa! Yeah, I really know what it feels like now. It feels like a wet gummy bear. <laughs> oh, so slippery and soft at the same time, but firm as well. Wow, <laughs> this is fun. Blippi, what are you doing? Oh, just sitting here looking at my favorite fish, the paddlefish. Ooh, paddlefish? That's pretty cool. It is. Well, see you later. Hope oh, see you later, Blippi. Whoa, this is pretty cool being behind the scenes of the aquarium. Hello. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> hey. So many cool workers here. Whoa, look at this. We're on top of an aquarium! Whoa, look at all that water and those fish down there! Whoa, okay, follow me. Whoa, look at this room! Whoa, there's so much scuba gear in here, tanks, wetsuits. Whoa, okay, we need to take this fish to the sharks. I bet they're really hungry. Come on! Whoa! Wow. Oh. Okay. Whoa, look at this. Whoever drew that is a good artist. It shows the different parts of a shark. Yeah, like the gills. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, look. All right, we did it. Here you go. Hi, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. What's your name? My name's Danny. Oh, this is Danny, and what are you doing here? So we're here at Feeding our big sharks right now. Whoa, look, I see a fish down there. Look. Whoa, so what? Why is she holding a fish on a pole? So that's how we get the food down to our sharks. If they're already low in the water column, she needs to be able to have a really long tool to get the food down to their mouth. Okay. 
So they hold the pole, which has a fish on the end, and then the sharks come up and have some supper. <laughs> Ooh, and this looks like fun. Whoa. Those fish look big. How big is that fish that she's feeding the sharks? It's about this big. It's called a blue fish because that has a kind of blue tint to it. Okay. That's a blue fish. That's about this big. So what kind of fish did I bring up? So you brought up some herring, which is the big fish in here. Okay. And then some caitlin, which is the little fish in here. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Hey, well, this is pretty cool seeing someone else do it, but hey, can I feed some sharks? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Just make sure you have your gloves on so the fish can be kind of stinky. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's put the gloves on so then my hands don't smell like fish for weeks. <laughs> okay, all right, I got my gloves on. Uh, oh, there we go. One glove, two gloves. All right, and now what do I do? So, that you brought up her kitchen, and we'll head over here. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We'll head over to our feeding platform. Okay. As soon as you walk up, the fish will be all ready for us. Okay. Whoa! Look! I'm on the platform. Whoa! Look! There's no barriers between me and the fish. Okay. I'm just gonna jump in. Just kidding. All right, here we go. Can I throw one at a time? Yeah, whatever you want. You throw one at a time or all of it at once. All right, enjoy this. Whoa, look at them go. They're really enjoying this food. Whoa, look at all of them. They're swarming to the top because they know that I'm throwing all this yummy food to them. All right, whee! Whee! Whoa! Here you go, fish. Is it that tasty? <laughs> is that tasty, fish? Or is that tasty? <laughs> okay, just a little left. Here we go. Whoa! That was so much fun! <laughs> Good job! Whoa! Ooh, she's feeding a turtle! Come on! Whoa! So many cool things up here! Whoa! Okay, let's go over here! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, what are you doing? I am feeding Greta, our green sea turtle. Ooh, she's feeding Greta? That's a nice name. And this is Greta. Do you see Greta? Hey, Greta. Hey. Ooh, what does Greta like to eat? Greta loves lettuce, but she also enjoys cucumbers, bell peppers, and even sometimes carrots. Ooh, lettuce, bell peppers, Cucumbers and carrots? Sounds like Greta's really healthy. <laughs> Can I try feeding Greta? Yeah. Hey. Okay. All right. How do I do it? Just a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. The whole leaf. You just pop it in front of her. There you go, Greta. Whoa. Hey, what are you doing? It's behind you. Should I throw another one? Oh, sure. There we go. Sometimes you can have some Okay. All right. Ooh, Greta's hungry. Here you go, Greta. Yum. Here you go. Oh, Greta is really big. Do you know how much Greta weighs? She is a little bit over a hundred pounds. Oh wow, a hundred pounds. Wow. Oh, here you go. <laughs> okay, let's do a big piece. Let's watch Greta eat a whole piece. Here you go. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. Uh -oh. Whoa. That's a big piece of lettuce. Hello. Hey. Hello. Oh, come on. Since we just 
touch some animals. I think we should use this restroom and wash our hands. Let's go. Okay, welcome to the bathroom. Whoa, look. Whoa, look. This restroom is underwater. And this restroom actually won the best restroom in America. Whoa, you can wash your hands right here. And look at shark. Sharks and fish. Whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, I wash my hands. Now I'll go dry them. You enjoy the view. Okay, let's go down the escalator to the deep ocean. <laughs> Come on. Like we're underwater. Look this way. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I present to you the deep ocean exhibit. So this is a sea lion. Whoa. There's another one over here. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> so cool. Oh, look, look, look. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Whoa. And there's actually a seal in here as well. Let's go try and find it. Oh, let's see. Oh, here it is. Hello. See that right here? This is a seal. Hi. So there's three sea lions in here and one seal. And the easiest way to tell the difference is this. I'll show you. So if you're a sea lion, you use your front flippers. So basically walk like this. <laughs> but seals don't do that. Seals. Oh, hello. Oh, you're curious, huh? <laughs> so curious. Whoa. So that's a sea lion. Mm -hmm. So it walks with its flippers. Hello, 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 hello. They're actually really smart animals. See how it's following me? I'll try and change directions. Whoa! <laughs> okay, and seals, they don't walk like that. You know, this is a sea lion. Sea lion. And a seal, they don't have that much power right here. And it's kind of short and stubby. So this is what they do. Just kind of waddle. <laughs> That's silly. Wow, what magnificent creatures. Check them out a little bit more. Whoa, penguins? Yeah, we're behind the scenes at the aquarium and we're gonna meet some penguins. Come on. Okay, let's walk nice and slow and we'll be very quiet as well. Ooh. Hey, who are you? Hutch. Ooh, this is Hutch. Hey, what do you do here? I work with the penguins and reptiles. Ooh, the penguins and the reptiles. Oh, do you see the penguins back there? Oh, no. Are 
these are only two penguins here? Oh no, we have more friends that are coming. Would you like to grab a toy? We're actually going to play with them. Sure. Okay, let's grab a toy and let's see some more penguins. Look over there. Also, can see colors really well. They have rods and cones in their eyes, just like we do. Okay. They're kind of, although they're birds, they're kind of acting like kitty cats, huh? Just a little bit. They do like to play with a lot of different types of toys. And, just like kitty cats, they tell us when they want to be touched. Okay. Huh, interesting. It's pretty cool. Hey, get a closer look. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> penguins are so silly. So where are these penguins from? These penguins are from South Africa. Okay. And we have 32 of them here at the aquarium. Wow, 32 penguins here. And these are from South Africa? Yes. Not Antarctica? Not Antarctica. They're actually one of several species of penguins that prefer the warm climate. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Warm climate and penguins. I guess you learn something every day. <laughs> hey, let's take a seat right over here. And then Hutch is gonna bring a penguin over. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get to touch a penguin. Ooh, hello. <laughs> hey, so I'm gonna touch the penguin with two fingers gently on its back. So soft. Did you know penguins have 70 feathers per square inch? Yeah, they're really small and really dense. Can I touch the gam punch? Yes, you can. Yeah. Does that feel good? You like that? She's showing off for you. What does that mean when she shakes her head? So that means she's really happy, uh, and you might be her new boyfriend. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I hope she doesn't want to kiss. <laughs> oh, hello! This is a little blue penguin. Mm -hmm. It's pretty small. Whoa! This board has the sizes of different penguins. Oh. Like the penguin I met today, an African penguin. Whoa, and they just keep getting bigger. Whoa, whoa, look how big they're getting. Whoa, look at how big this penguin is. Whoa, four feet tall, 1.3 meters high? Jeez, look how big it is. Oh, whoa, that's a really big penguin. Can. <laughs> Do you see its beak? <laughs> kind of looks like the shape of a banana. A really colorful banana. <laughs> There's another bird over here. Come on. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> a colorful parrot. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Whoa. Looks like it's yellow, blue, and on its head, it's green! <laughs> hey! Hey, there's another animal right over here I want to show you. Come on! Whoa, look! Look at this animal! It's moving really slow! <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a sloth. Let's act like a sloth together.
Hello! How are you? Ah! 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 <laughs> That's funny. All right, hello. These are otters, and they're so cute. Look at them go underwater. Whoa. I bet they can hold their breath for a really long time. Whoa. They're so fast. Whoa. <laughs> they kind of look like water cats, <laughs> but they're not kitty cats. <laughs> Whoa. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, another one. Whoa! <laughs> cool! Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all these creatures at Odyssey in Scottsdale, Arizona with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you soon. <laughs> yeah, nice music, woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and I was just grooving to some tunes. Check this out, though. <laughs> Do you see this? This is a tie-dye shirt. And today, you and I are gonna make a tie-dye shirt. Wow, it's so colorful. Let's list all these colors. Up top, there is the color blue. Yeah. And then below that, looks like it's the color pink. Or red. Pinkish red. <laughs> and then we have yellow, like the color of the sun. And then we have orange at the bottom. Do you see it? Whoa! This shirt is so groovy! <laughs> All right, let's go get some supplies and make our very own tie-dye shirt. Woo! <laughs> Check it out! We have all the materials and supplies we need to make our tie-dye shirt. <laughs> All right, we don't need this because we're gonna make one. <laughs> so, first you start with a white t-shirt. Yeah, like this, see? And then you take a dye. Yeah, let's see, a fabric dye. This is the orange fabric dye. This one is red. This one is blue. This one is purple. And this one is yellow. <laughs> and then we have some rubber bands and you tie the shirt really tight. And then you spray the dye on it, but you have to wear your gloves <laughs> or else your hands are gonna get stained. I don't want that. And then we have a bag for later. I'll show you what that's all about. And the water. Okay, so first step, we need to get the shirt wet. Just like that. Let's get it nice and wet. Wow. <laughs> that water's really cold. Okay. Squeeze out all the water. Whoa. <laughs> <sighs> We're so strong. All right. And then let's lay the t shirt out on the table. Yeah. And the cool thing about tie dye is you can do so many different designs. And it's all about how you twist and crunch the shirt and wrap the rubber bands around it. So let's, uh, let's do a swirl. <laughs> I love swirls. Yeah, kinda like ice cream swirls. <laughs> I love ice cream. Okay, here we go. So you just twist it, swirl it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to pick the colors. Okay, there we go. And then 
you have a nice bunched up shirt. You could even bunch it, but I chose to swirl it. And then you take these rubber bands and, and wrap them around the top and the bottom of the shirt, just like this. Yeah, this white shirt is gonna be so colorful. <laughs> All right, there's two rubber bands. Here is three rubber bands. Perfect, this is looking so good. And then here's the fourth rubber band. <laughs> wow, will you count to four with me? Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> good job. All right, now we get to pick our colors. But remember, <laughs> let's put on our gloves. Okay, here we go. One glove. Two gloves. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have a lot of colors. I know. I think I'm gonna choose two colors. My two favorite colors. Do you know what colors they are? Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, blue and orange. All right, here's the two colors. And then uh, take the caps off. And then you get to squirt the shirt in whatever way you want. I'm gonna squirt some blue right there. I'll skip some and squirt some blue right there. How about some blue right there? <laughs> and some blue right there. Wow, the shirt was all white. But now what color is it? Yeah, there's two colors, blue and white. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's give it a little more. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> All right, so then the other color, like I said, is orange. So let's squirt that white and get it nice and orange. There we go. Wow, we are doing so good. There we go. Perfect. Wow, amazing. Wow, this looks so good. Do you see it? We have blue and orange. <laughs> All right, set that down. And now you take the big plastic bag and you put the shirt in there. And close it up. And now we get a weight, but you have to keep it in here for at least six hours. You can even do it up to 24 hours if you wanted to. The longer you keep it in this bag, the darker and more vibrant the colors are gonna be. Hmm, I think we should probably wait eight hours. So, let's wait. Hmm, we're almost done waiting, but I think what we should do is mix two colors and see what color it makes. First, let's take our blue. Whoa, do you see that? Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Wow, blue water. And then let's take, how about red? Hopefully it doesn't spill on me because I don't have my gloves on anymore. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blue and red. Whoa, what color is that? I have my mixing tongs. <laughs> wow, yeah. Blue and red make the color purple. Wow, let's put a little bit more red in there. Wow, now it's a dark purple. Whoa, that's fun. Okay, well, I think our t-shirt has been in here for long enough. It's been about, yeah multiple hours, so now I'm gonna go take this to the sink, take the rubber bands off, and rinse it off. And then I'm gonna go put it in the dryer. <laughs> I'll be right back, okay? Wow, this is awesome! <laughs> Our shirt is complete! Wow, all right, here it is. 
Do you see it? Wow! Yeah, it's blue and orange. Can you see how it, where I swirled it? Right about there. Wow, it's so cool. Time to try it on. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> that was awesome! I love making tie-dye shirts. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Woo! I sure do love tie-dye shirts. Wow! Maybe now at home you can make your very own tie-dye shirt. <laughs> I am so excited to see the creation that you make. <laughs> All right, well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you later, woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and I'm just reading this really cool book. Yeah, it's called Penguins Love Colors by Sarah Aspinall. <laughs> it's about all these penguins that have a different favorite color. Green, blue, violet, red, orange, and yellow. Whoa, I love this book. Whoa, check this page out. Yeah, it looks like a garden. There's so many flowers and so many colors. Whoa, even a rainbow. Hey, rainbow plus garden equals rainbow garden. <laughs> Hi, Blippi. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Sarah Aspinall. <gasps> Sarah Aspinall? Wait a second. <gasps> like the author and the illustrator of this book? That's me. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> Would you like to make a rainbow garden of your very own, Blippi? Yeah, I think that would be so much fun. Well, come this way. I've got all of the things you need. Ooh, all right. Here is a box full of lots of fun art surprises for you to have your very own art adventure. Wow. Well, thank you so much. And we are very excited to make our very own rainbow garden. Have so much fun, Blippi. All right, see you later. Bye. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah, I sure am. Let's do this. Whoa. <laughs> all right, let's find all the things that we need inside this box. Whoa, yay. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo. It looks like we have a white palette. Okay, that right there. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. An apron, yeah, a green apron. It actually has a lot of paint on it. I'll set that right over here and we'll put that on before we start using all of the paints. Whoa, hey, a sponge. <laughs> okay, put the sponge right there. Ooh, a salad spinner. Whoa, I know what this is used for. I'll show you really soon. Have some scissors, a little paintbrush, <laughs> and of course, a lot of paint. <laughs> all right, I think that's all. Let's see. <laughs> yep, that's all. Okay, let's put on this apron so then I don't get dirty. All right, here we go. Tie it nice and tight. All right, okay, let's organize a little bit. Whee! <laughs> All righty. Okay, so we have our paint over there, salad spinner right there, big piece of white paper, little teeny paintbrush. <laughs> Put that in there. Ooh, can't forget about the book. So then we can reference what we're making. How about that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, remember, we're making this picture. A rainbow garden. All right, so first we need to make a big piece of paper of rainbow colors. So let's take a little bit of red and a paintbrush. 
and we're gonna put it on the sponge, okay? So, let's actually just squirt it right here. Okay, and now that we have a lot of red right there, we need to do all the other colors. But I actually have an idea. I think I should use this palette and fill it up. Might make it a lot easier. Perfect. <laughs> okay, now let's take the paintbrush. All right, and let's put some orange right here. Yeah, so now we have red and then orange. Need to wash off our brush. <laughs> Perfect. And we need some yellow right here. Wow. <laughs> yellow is so pretty. It's like the color of the sun. Okay, lots of yellow right there. Now we need some green. Okay. Whoa, green. Perfect. After green, we need some blue. Yeah, perfect. Good amount of blue right there. Do you see this? We're almost done. And now, we need some violet or purple. They're very similar in looks. Wow. There we go. How does that look? Haha, <laughs> yeah, like a rainbow. All right, now for the fun part. Push it down right here. Yeah! Whoa! Look at that! Wow! Yeah! And you do that same thing many times in a row, all the way down. So I'll do that now. Whoa! That is so beautiful! Check it out! Whoa! Okay. I'm actually gonna set this over to the side so it can dry. It's a little wet still. Perfect. Okay, now what we need to do is take this salad spinner. Yeah, you normally put salad, kale, romaine, lettuce inside here, and you spin it around. <laughs> and it flings all the water off of it. But today, what we're gonna do is we have a white piece of paper right there, and we get to put some colors in here and then spin it and then it pushes all the paint off to the edges. Okay, ready? We'll put some yellow. Yeah, that looks really good. And then how about we put some orange. I love orange. Yeah, just like that. Wow, yellow and orange. <laughs> And how about a few drops of red? Yeah, how about that? Just a couple. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Now, let's put the top on. Now it's all sealed. Here we go. Whoa! That was awesome! I just spun it so fast! Let's open it up and see what we have inside. Whoa! Wow! That is amazing! We just made that by spinning this around really quick. Okay, it's pretty wet, so let me put it off to the side so then it can dry. Okay, now that I put that off to the side to dry, the original Rainbow is probably ready to use, so let me get it. Yep, it's nice and dry. <laughs> all right, so now what we need to do, let me organize this paint. I don't want it to get all over me now that we're all done painting. So what we're actually going to do is take this and make a little squiggly line while we cut. Ready? Yeah, just like this. Oh, kind of like a worm. Worms squiggle around. <laughs> or a caterpillar. Or a snake. You see this? Yeah, check that out. 
Okay. Now what I need is a white piece of paper. I have one right on the ground over here. And then I put it on the top. Do you see that? Yeah, it's like a rainbow, just like in Sarah's picture. So let me get some glue right over here. All right, now that I have this glue, I can glue it down. All right. <laughs> have you ever used a glue stick before? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's not all liquidy like the normal type of glue. This is a glue stick. You just kind of like color it on. But it's no color, you know, like as if you're coloring. Yeah, there's no color to it. It's clear. Perfect. Wow. This looks amazing. You and I are doing a really good job. All right. Next step is to take this, remember, the rainbow, and cut out some stems and grass from the other side. I'm gonna set this down right over here, so then I can start cutting. Okay, let's cut a nice long stem. Yeah, just like that. It's like a really thin, long rectangle. Perfect. Let me do another one. Yeah, I'll start with two. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa. There we go. We have two long rectangles. Yeah. One, two. And these are going to be the flower stems. Okay. Put them right under there. Perfect. Now we need some blades of grass. So what we're going to do is some triangles. Just like that. Some nice tall blades of grass. <laughs> As if you might need to mow your lawn. <laughs> yeah, and these blades of grass I'm cutting yeah, are triangles, just like I said. <laughs> Whoa, how does that look? Do you like that blade of grass? <laughs> I sure do. All right, let's put those right here. I'm gonna set this aside and grab my piece of art that had the rainbow on the top, and then, here we go, I'm gonna be able to put these on the bottom. And I'll actually cut some more. But let me flip this around and take my glue stick again. <laughs> Whoa. One right in the center. How about one to the side a little bit, huh? Yeah, there we go. I love doing art. Yeah, how does that look? <laughs> yeah, and we'll do the blades of grass too. It's so colorful. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Here we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Looks like I need to cut some more and then glue it all down. So let me grab the piece of paper and I'll cut a bunch, all right? <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. All right. I did all the blades of grass and all of the flower stems. <laughs> now we need to do the tops of the flowers. So remember earlier we did the salad spinners? Yeah, look at all these other ones that I have. <laughs> okay, so let's cut them up. So then we can use them for the flower petals. Let's do a half circle. Yeah, like that. How about that? And then we can also do, yeah, something really big, because this one is gonna be a very big flower. Yeah, perfect. How's that look? All right, and then we need some leaves on this one. So let's go like this. Yeah. And. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. And then we can start gluing them down and making our flowers. So let's go like this. How does this look? Yeah, that's a beautiful flower. I love the smell of flowers. <laughs> and then this one will be another flower. Yeah, and a stem. Okay, let's 
do a, actually, not a stem, a leaf. We already have the stems right there. So a leaf right there, right in the center. Okay, I'm gonna cut some more and continue to glue them down. <laughs> Here I go. All right, last but not least, <laughs> let's put the center of the flower. Yeah, that's like where all the pollen is. <laughs> all right, how does that look? Wow, we made our very own rainbow garden. Wow, what a beautiful picture. <laughs> Whoa. Well, thank you so much for learning about all the colors of the rainbow today with me and about flowers and also that amazing book about penguins by Sarah. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, I'm gonna go frame this and put this in my tree house. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> Hello, Moose. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. And check this out. This is a giant moose. And today, you and I at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington are gonna see some awesome animals. Maybe we'll see a moose. I am so excited. Let's go. Bye-bye, Moose. Whoa, check out this radical off-road vehicle. This is so cool. This is what you and I are gonna take the tour in. <laughs> Let's inspect it, make sure it's nice and safe for us. Check it out. These are some big wheels and tires. Whoa, and look at that tread. That is some big tread for some massive off-roading, yeah. Whoa, check out that up there. That is the canopy top. Just in case if it rains, nothing will hit our heads. It's kind of like an umbrella, but for a vehicle. All right, let's check out inside. Whoa, hey, check this out. Hello, hello, Northwest Trek. Flippy's here. Can I come on the tour? Hey there, Flippy, you're clear for the tour. All right, you heard him. We're ready to take the tour. All right, first we need to finish our Vehicle tour. All right, check this out. This is where you fill up the vehicle with gas. Yep, it's nice and full. All right, there we go. Oh, now into the back of the vehicle. Whoa! Check it out. Whoa, there's so many seats back here. Whoa! <laughs> So cool. I'm gonna sit right here so I can get a bird's eye view of all the fun animals we're about to see. Let's go! Woohoo! Whoa! Do you see those animals? Those animals are elk. Hey, and look at that one. That one has big antlers. That one is a boy. And all those other ones are girls. <laughs> See you later, elk. <laughs> oh, looks like they're playing. See ya. Oh, let's go explore some more animals around here. Whoa, check it out. This is a bison. Whoa! And do you see how it has some fur on the side? Yeah, some really short fur and some long fur. And that long fur is called a cape. Yeah, that means this bison is a boy. Whoa! This bison is so big, it weighs the size of a small car. <laughs> Whoa, this is so much fun at the Northwest Trek. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that animal? That is a moose. One way I can tell that that is a moose 
is the thing that it has under its chin. Yeah. <laughs> That's called a bell. Whoa, and there's another moose over here. Hello, moose. Hey, moose. <laughs> Do you see how that moose is moving its ears? Yeah, they have some big ears. They can probably hear really good. Let's see. Hello, moose. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I was being really quiet, and it heard me. <laughs> Check out those animals. Those animals are big horned sheep. You see their horns? Yeah, if you look at them from the side, it kind of looks like a circle. <laughs> wow, what cool animals. Whoa! This is so much fun at Northwest Trek. We are finding so many animals. They are so cute. <laughs> There's three goats right here. Hey, I think you and I should count them. One, two, three. Yeah, three white goats. Oh, they're so cute. Hello, goats. Hey. <laughs> oh. oh, looks like two are leaving. Three minus two is one. But they're still there. So there's three. <laughs> so silly. is massive <laughs> and those goats are really small it's so cool that these two species of animals are living right next to each other and they're getting along <laughs> <laughs> wow northwest trek is such a great place to see animals that are native to the pacific northwest <laughs> yeah Huh, well, we gotta keep going because we have so many more animals to see. Let's go! Whoa! Do you see those birds? Oh! Oh! They're so big! Those are bald eagles. Do you see how that one has a white neck and head? Yeah, because that is an adult. But that one right there with the darker neck and head that means it's a juvenile, which is five years and younger. Hey, how old are you? <laughs> cool! <laughs> Whoa! This is the wingspan of a bald eagle. Whoa! It has a bigger wingspan than I do! Whoa! Go! 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 Whoa, do you see that animal? <laughs> that animal is a raccoon. Whoa, raccoons are so cute. <laughs> yeah, you can find raccoons in a lot of places, like out in the wilderness and even in the city. Yeah, sometimes I hear my garbage at night getting ruffled up. <laughs> and actually, it's a raccoon just trying to find some food. <laughs> Do you see that? Those are itty bitty chunks of food for an animal called river otters. I am so excited. <laughs> oh, do you see those animals? Those are the river otters I was talking about earlier. <laughs> and they're eating lunch. Oh, come check them out. Hey, there they are. Wow, <laughs> they look really hungry. River otters can actually dive down 60 feet underwater. Whoa, that's about 20 meters. That is really deep. <laughs> Check them out. Whoa, that is a wolverine. It has some really sharp claws. <laughs> and its teeth and jaw is so sharp it can crunch through bones. Whoa, and these animals are really fierce. 
they have to be fierce because they live in the wilderness. Whoa, <laughs> what cool animals. Whoa, do you see those animals? Yeah, those are bears. They're actually grizzly bears. <laughs> These are the biggest bears that we have in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, they're so big. And their smell is so good, they can smell food from 20 miles away. Wow, that's like about 32 kilometers. That is so far. Hey, I have an idea. How about you and I act like bears? So we get on all fours, but when you hear music, then you stand up and growl and dance like a bear. Ready? All right, act like a bear. Rawr! 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 <laughs> that was so much fun today at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington. Wow, we sure did learn about a lot of Pacific Northwest animals today, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed learning with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. Shout